The one I feel pretty good about is James Butler. He hasn't gotten a lot of volume the first two games. Only seven carries and two targets in week two, but he still played 65% of the snaps. I, despite thinking Houston will win this game pretty easily, I would not expect them to run much because, again, you don't have to run to drain clock in the XFL, but Butler will be on the field. He will get some targets. He will have scoring chances. He will have conversion chances. Those are all really valuable. So despite the fact I would not project him for double-digit carries, I still think that James Butler is either my favorite or second favorite running back on this slate at $17. What are your thoughts on Butler there? Yeah, I mean, attached to a good offense, uh, playing 65% of the snaps or more in each game, which is quite high for the XFL. Uh, We don't have many... We we really don't have any workhorse backs uh, in the in the sense that we know them in the NFL. Uh, so Butler's got really one of the best roles uh, among running backs. It's a good game environment for him. Uh, they're favored pretty heavily. The implied team total is high. So Butler, he's going to be one of the first places I look at running back. Uh, I think I'm with you. I don't. I'm not enamored with him necessarily, yeah. but based on the alternatives, uh, I think he's kind of very easily just in that conversation and running back on the Saturday slate is quite thin there are two viable offenses on the Saturday only slate both of them have running backs uh Cameron Artis Payne if you were to go based on volume last week he'd be better but how mummy also runs an air raid offense it's not like it's not like these guys are in different offense it's not like they're St. Louis where they want to actively run they just happened to have a lot of success running last week, and they, they stuck with it. To their credit, you know? Like, if it's working, why stop? Uh, so they became the Hal Mummy ground rate offense for a week. I would expect them to be more pass-heavy this week. So I view Butler and Artis Payne as being in similar offenses. Butler is not coming off a huge week. Artis Payne is. Direct pivot, $1 cheaper. That's why I'd favor him. But, like, they're both really kind of in the same tier to me.